Okay, today's good person to know is Will Hayward. He's Vice President for Advertising at BuzzFeed. They have over 150 million unique views a month. And that's really impressive, bearing in mind they've only been around since 2006, when some of their main competitors, other publications that have been around for a lot longer, still can't enjoy that kind of success. BuzzFeed has the hottest, most funniest social content on the web. And that's why people are more inclined to share their content than anybody else's to other people on different platforms too. And that's why the word just keeps on spreading. They originally compiled lists, but then they saw the benefits of being more serious. And so they recruited fully fledged journalists so that they could steer their site in a more serious way. By embracing social and now mobile, they deliver content that is fit for purpose. And I think that's the key in this video. If you want to be more content savvy, this could be a real eye opener for you. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. The, the biggest thing about BuzzFeed is the vast majority of our traffic comes from people sharing our content. So uh, we are all about creating great stuff that people enjoy so much that they choose to put on their Facebook, choose to put on their Twitter, choose to email it to their friends. <coughs> if we can come up with interesting, uh, distracting content that these people can look at in their spare time, or sorry, at their desk, um, uh, if we can bake social into that, so if we can create these fun things and also give people a reason to share them, we can build uh, scale very quickly. So when we started, um, we just sort of focused on fun stuff, basically. So things like uh, 34 gifts that sum up your first sexual experience. And uh, we kind of um, collected this content from across the web, sort of from Reddit and things like that. We looked for instances where someone put something up and said, this reminds me of my first time. So we started with just kind of fun and distracting stuff. Um, and we built massive scale through that. Uh, and then we had an insight about two years ago that actually people don't just look at funny, nostalgic, silly things in their lunch break. They also uh, go to The Guardian, they go to the BBC, and maybe we could come up with a way of reporting news in a new or interesting way, and we could optimise it for social, we could optimise it for mobile, we could think more about a younger generation. Um, and uh, we went out and hired a guy called Ben Smith, who's a serious, proper journalist. And he started hiring out an investigative reporting team, uh, kind of journalists all over the world. Uh, we also look at how we can take what we know about social media to report things on a different way. So, uh, whilst the rest of the press corps was looking at drone footage and things like that to work out if Russia was in the Ukraine, um, at BuzzFeed we were scouring through Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. And we're also trying to kind of come up with satire for a new generation. So, we are uh, doing things like conclusive proof that George Osborne uh, is actually a bodybuilder. Um, uh, and that's it, stuff does very well. Uh, we now think we're in the third age of the web, which is all about social. So social started as a destination. You had Facebook, you had Twitter, you had MySpace, and these were kind of places online you went to to do things. Um, and we now see social as a thing that kind of spreads across the whole web. And then towards the end of 2013, social started to pull away, and then right at the end of 2013, um, Facebook tweaked their newsfeed algorithm to reward content, and suddenly the most important thing you were doing if you were a publisher, and certainly if you were in, uh, in business, was um, getting people to share what you were doing, getting people to take what you were doing and putting it on Facebook. Um, uh, this is homepage traffic to the New York Times in a two year period, uh, producing um, more than halving in a two year period because people aren't waking up in the morning, picking up their phone, looking at the New York Times, they're picking up their phone, they're looking at Facebook, they're looking at Twitter, they're looking at their email, they're seeing what their friends are talking about, um, and then finding individual pieces of content that are going on. It's not good enough to just put stuff online, you've got to give reason, people a reason to distribute what you're doing for you. I personally am a massive David Ogilvy fan, and the father of advertising, and Ogilvy said that uh, advertising should fit the form in which you are communicating. So he exists in the era of magazines and newspapers, and he said that good magazine ads should fit what people expect from magazines. It should have a clear headline, clear copy, go distract people with silly images, distracting typefaces, Give people, give people what they expect from a newspaper, give people what they expect from a magazine. This is true of uh, other media as well, so the best cinema ads match what people expect from the cinema. So as we move into the era of mobile and social, um, everyone thinks that BuzzFeed is about native ads for BuzzFeed. We actually think about native ads for the social web. We're not trying to create stuff that just makes sense for BuzzFeed. We're trying to make stuff that makes sense when someone picks up their phone in the morning and they see some brand new content and it makes sense, it fits what they're expecting from that platform. We also use paid media to support it even further, so we don't just put stuff on BuzzFeed, we also have an internal social media team who run paid for ads on Facebook, co-branded BuzzFeed, co-branded Scope, um, to push this out to the target demographic 
and then get those users on this journey towards ultimately sharing it organically um, themselves. Key takeaways for me, certainly on the web is not social. Social is not um, a sort of thing on the web, it kind of is the web now really. Um, if you accept that, you've got to really think about why people share what you're doing. If you're a marketer, if you're a publisher, if you're a brand, whatever it might be, what's the reason that your target audience is distributing your message on your behalf? Um, and ultimately, uh, this is a great opportunity. Banner ads kind of suck. Um, a lot of digital advertising is pretty average. Uh, but if you focus on meaningful experiences, if you focus on creating great things,